What's up guys, it's Yuval here and in today's video I want to tell you all about our new VFX pack and show you guys how to use the different elements like fire, smoke, dust, particles to really enhance your footage and make it look amazing. I'm also going to share with you some practical tips and tricks and walk you through a few techniques to really blend these elements in and composite them into your shots and make them look real. So let's watch the trailer for the VFX pack, which also includes the final shots that we're gonna be editing today. And as always, we're also going to have a giveaway at the end of this video, so make sure you stick around. But let's first watch the video and then we're gonna jump right in. So we're in After Effects and I want to start off with a pretty easy shot and a very quick and easy way to make your shot look better uh, using the VFX pack. So this is going to be a simple example and then we're going to move on to more complex things. I'm just going to drag one of the elements in and you're going to see how immediately without too much work it's going to really enhance the footage and just make it look way better and more interesting um, just with a few clicks. So let's go for that. So we have this footage of this couple, um, just this bonfire there, they're kissing. And now I'm gonna go and search for embers. So let's go into the VFX pack folders and I'm gonna go into embers. So we have a bunch of these and I'm gonna go for embers number five. I'm gonna drag it in, I'm gonna scale it up and I'm gonna go into the blending mode and go for screen. And let's play the final result. As easy as you like, just drag and drop, change the blending mode, and there you have it, a beautiful shot. So this next example is also going to be pretty easy, but we're gonna take it a step forward. I'm gonna show you how to color correct the elements to make them blend in more with the original shot. And it's just gonna give you the tools to um, really play around with the elements and just make them look good in any scenario that you're using, any footage, any element, um, any effect that you're trying to achieve. I'm gonna show you some tools to help you do that. So um, let's go. So we have this shot of the girl running. Uh, let's watch it. All right, uh, looks nice. And I really wanna enhance this footage, make it look more interesting and just give it a little bit more of a pop. So a very easy thing that I can do is just go over to my VFX pack. I'm gonna go over to smoke and we have uh, four smoke elements and I'm gonna go for the first one. So I'm just going to grab it and just like that drag it into my timeline over the clip that I already have. And as you can see the smoke is on a black background and it's like we can't see the footage underneath. So all we need to do to fix this is go into our blending modes. I'm gonna change the blending mode to screen, which basically eliminates uh, everything that is darker. So we're only gonna see what's lighter, which is the smoke. And as you can see, now we can see the smoke over here. So what I wanna do now is uh, make the smoke bigger. So I'm gonna press S on the keyboard to bring up the scale. And I'm gonna go for something around um, let's say 250 maybe. So already it adds quite a lot, but it doesn't look really good because the smoke is white and the whole scene is uh, more orange and the smoke that we already have going on is orange as well. So we're gonna try to match that to um, basically make this look as if it was really there uh, when they shot this. So I'm gonna use a bunch of different color grading tools to help me kind of get this to look the same as the original. So I'm gonna go to my effects and I'm gonna type in curves and that's gonna be the first uh, effect that we apply. And let's go to um, red first and let's try to play with that. So that's looking already pretty nice. Now let's go over to the blues now let's try the greens. So 
And something like that I think looks pretty nice. Let's play it. And maybe I want to drop the opacity just a little bit. Uh, maybe somewhere around 80. And yeah, that looks pretty nice, very quick, very easy. And one thing I forgot to mention that I did is I actually sped up the smoke because it was going pretty slow. So I just went right click and time, time stretch. And I put this on 75, which basically made this uh, go a little bit faster, which was more uh, suitable to my shot. So this is another tool that you can use. You can make the elements go faster or slower depending on your needs and on your shot. And I think that's pretty much it for this shot. We just dragged in the smoke, I put it on screen, made it go a little bit faster, scaled it up. And we also used curves to color correct this and make it blend more with the original shot. So let's just play the final result again. So for this next shot, I want to show you guys something a little bit more complex. So we have this shot here of this car burning and there's fire on the right side of the car and on the left side a little bit and the center is feeling a little bit missing. I want to have fire in there as well. So I'm going to use the fire assets on the VFX pack to fill in the frame and like get more fire in there, uh, make it more impactful. So I'm going to go into fire in my folders and I'm going to look at the different ones that I have. Maybe I'll start off with fire number three. I'm gonna drag it in. And again, the background is black. So I'm gonna change the blending mode. And I have a feeling that um, add is gonna look better with this one, but let's try screen at first. So you can see the difference. Like this looks nice, but it doesn't have that kind of glow effect to it. So I think add is gonna be better. So let's see that. Yeah, um, so this is screen, which is a little bit like more transparent and add is just a little bit brighter uh, looks better for this scene and there's still quite a lot of work to do on this one so let's start by scaling it down I'm gonna position it somewhere around there and now obviously this doesn't look good yet but before i go into color correcting again um, what i want to do is actually motion track this you can see that the footage has some movement and if i play it you can see that the fire element is staying stationary and the footage is moving so it's just not uh, staying in place so i want to fix that and we're going to do that by doing some motion tracking so I'm gonna try to motion track it manually and let's see how that works. So I'm going to press on P to get to my position. I'm gonna click the stopwatch to create a keyframe. And now let's move a few frames forward and let's reposition the fire. And we're just gonna keep on doing the same thing. So we did a pretty nice job with motion tracking this. Um, fire looks like it's pretty much staying uh, in place together with the footage. And that's what we wanted. And now that we have it motion tracked, I wanna start color correcting it and just making it look more like the fire that is actually in the shot. So I'm gonna go into my effects again and I'm gonna type in glow. I'm gonna drag that into fire three and let's start messing around with the settings. So I'm going to increase the intensity and the radius and the threshold. So this is a pretty nice start. This is with the glow, this is without the glow, uh, but it's still not doing enough. So next up, we're gonna go into curves again and I'm just going to raise this up. And then I'm going to go into tint. And that already made a pretty big difference. Um, just the amount of tint, I wanna bring it down. Maybe something like this, cause I do wanna keep some of the color, cause it is yellow. Um, but as you can see, the real fire is 
like almost pure white. It's completely blown out. So that's what I'm trying to go for here. Um, now I, I can see that the fire that we added is just, um, it's too sharp compared to the real fire. So I'm gonna go into Gaussian Blur. And let's start blurring this up. And this is already looking much better. Um, let's see everything that we did so far. So this was before and this is after, so quite a long way, but we still can make it look a little bit more real. Uh, if I look at the fire on the left here, um, you can see it's, it's very blown out and our fire is still, like it has too much detail. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go into brightness and contrast. Let's just bring this up. So that's looking already better. And then back into my curves. Let's try to get the color just a little bit more into the yellow side. And then just to really dial this in, I'm gonna go into U and saturation. And I'm gonna go for um, reds, lightness. I'm gonna bring this up. I'm gonna take the saturation a bit down. And then I'm gonna move this wheel over. Maybe something like that. Then I'm gonna take the saturation down again. And you can see that brought us like very close now. I think it's a little bit too blurry. So I'm gonna take down the blurriness. And yeah, I think that looks pretty nice. Let's play it. So yeah, I think now it's blending in very well with the original fire. Um, it doesn't look fake. Um, so it looks really good and it really added to the shot. And uh, now we can go ahead and add maybe another fire um, on the other window. And we can basically do the same thing again. So drag that in. Put it on add, scale it down, and then I'm just gonna copy everything that we did uh, with this one. And there we go, we have another fire in there, and obviously we wanna motion track that as well. And another quick thing that we can do with this shot to really add a lot of depth is create a new solid, and I'm gonna give it a yellow color, I'm gonna press OK. Then I'm going to create a circular mask, something like this. Then I'm going to feather this out quite a lot, maybe something like this. I'm going to change the blending mode to add, and I'm going to put this underneath the fire. And I'm going to drop the opacity way down. Let's try 10%. Yeah, something like that. We can even go 20 and you can see it's just adding like kind of this atmosphere glow around the fire and the same thing that we can see happening uh, with real fire and we have like smoke and uh, the car so uh, in real life it would emit uh, kind of a glow so it's looking pretty nice so just a quick little thing that can add um, more depth and make this look even better. And in general, we can spend um, at least like 30 minutes or even an hour or more tweaking this to look just perfect. Um, but just within a few minutes, this is looking really, really nice. And I like the results. And the fire elements really helped intensify the scene and make it look even more powerful than it already was. So that's the power of these elements. So let's go on to the next example. So for this next shop, we have this couple um, sitting together in the rain and I think we could really spice this up by um, using some raindrops. So I'm gonna go into the VFX pack folders and I'm gonna go into raindrop and I'm gonna choose raindrop uh, number two. I'm gonna drag it in and now you can see that if I choose something like screen then it gets rid of the black but um, this is not really looking good because um, all of the raindrops are white, which they shouldn't be, because um, in real life it kind of catches on the color that is already there. So the blend mode that we want to use for this is color dodge, because when we do that, you can see that now 
all of the colors are coming through, but we're getting the raindrop texture. Um, so I want to make this a little bit bigger. And I also want to drop the opacity. And now you can see that we have a little bit of a problem because the shot is moving in and um, our raindrop is just staying the same. So it doesn't really match up. So uh, what we want to do is actually motion track this. But this time we have like a forward movement and we also have um, like the X and Y movement. So I do want to motion track this using the After Effects tracker and not manually like we did in the previous shot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the tracker here. And if you can't see this, then you have to go into window and check tracker over there. Um, so I'm going to choose the base layer or base footage. I'm going to hide the raindrop for now. And I'm going to select track camera and I'm going to basically let it finish tracking. So the tracking finished and you can see that now we have all of these tracking points over here and they're all pretty much the same uh, in this instance. So I'm going to go for this one, right click, create solid and camera. And now we can see that the solid is actually moving together with the footage. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click and I'm going to pre-compose this. I'm going to double click that. And I'm gonna change the composition settings to 4K, which is the size of our raindrops and the footage. And now I'm going to delete the solid and I'm gonna copy our raindrops into the composition. Then I'm gonna change the composition here back into color dodge. And now you can see that our footage is actually motion tracked and it's kind of going together with the original movement of the footage. And now I just wanna add a little bit of a Cajun blur, just a touch. So maybe something around like four. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. And um, the main takeaway that I want you guys to uh, understand from this example is that we used a different blending mode within your screen or add because those just made the, the blacks disappear, but it didn't like made the colors come through and that's why we used color dodge and depending on your footage and what you want to achieve and the kind of element that you're using um, there's like a lot of options here for different blending modes there's dark and multiply um, color burn soft light um, so just experiment with all of these and kind of see what works um, in, in like your case and your footage and the effect that you're trying to achieve so just be flexible and try to kind of stay creative and um, just experiment. So that is all for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And the key with this pack is really to get creative and use the different elements and different tools and techniques that I've showed you to really make your vision uh, come to life. And now let's talk about this video's giveaway. One of you guys could win a free one year subscription to the Artlist Music Catalog and the VFX pack. All you gotta do is comment down below which video would you like for us to make next. Here are the three lucky winners from our last giveaway. Congratulations to you guys. Until the next one, stay creative.